What's up, Peapod? It's your boy Sean P, the leader and general of the illest team known to man, the Pure Foys, aka your family's favorite family. And today's upload is a really quick one. Um, today is actually Raylan's birthday, so shout outs to Raylan. Happy birthday to you, baby. With today being such a joyous day to celebrate, it's also a pretty sad day for us. Last week, January 3rd, my nephew Sabor, who was just a month younger than Ari, seven years old, lost his battle with cancer. And he was just the life of every party. I mean, the kid was, he was smart, he was witty, he was a pain in the butt, he loved life. He loved school, he loved people, and he loved his family. It, it really had me messed up when I heard the news because, you know, he'd been battling with this this particular cancer for some time, and at one point, uh, he had it beat. We were just so happy, and we rejoiced, and we praised God, and we, we thanked God for his healing, but then the cancer came back. It was a bit more aggressive than it was prior. He just didn't have it in him to fight it this time. It's just a hard thing to deal with as a parent because he and Ariana are only a month apart. Ariana was born August 10th. He was born September 16th of the same year. With them being first cousins, I begin to think that that could have been my child. I just thank God for the life that he has given me. I appreciate it even more. It also helps me to appreciate my sister even more, my sister Trisha. The strength and the resilience and the, the class and the love that she was able to show and exhibit through all these years was just, it was magnificent. I'm a pretty emotional person and um, sometimes my emotions get the best of me and um, sometimes when I'm dealing with serious situations, it can dictate my mood and how I interact with people and I, I become a grump, but that's not how Trisha was. She was still full of life. They went on trips, overnight camp, they went to Disney, they went here, they went there. He was always going somewhere. For a seven-year-old, this, this boy just did so much and, you know, it was really a life to marvel at because, you know, even with his with his illness and with his with his handicap, he was still a regular kid. He would come over sometimes, the kids would play. He'd be running around and wrestling and just making noise and being a pest just like the rest of the kids. You really look at your own life and it causes you to reflect on the, how you're living your life because um, there are times when I don't feel like my best and I kind of like do a half job of living life it's because I'm tired, I'm overworked, not making enough money or whatever excuse I can come up with. But my nephew Sabor, he lived life to the fullest. He enjoyed going to school. He didn't like doing his homework, but he enjoyed his classmates. He was in Boy Scouts. He was in the YMCA. He just did so much and you know, it was really like the exemplar way to live your life. You know, we were at the funeral today and uh, they told everybody not to wear black, the traditional funeral colors, but to, to wear something bright, something full of color, or wear a superhero shirt. So I got on my Spider-Man shirt and it was just, uh, it was actually a kind of awkward service. My sister didn't want any heavy hearts or anything like that, she wanted to keep it as upbeat as possible. The boy was only seven years old. It's already super sad in and of itself, but you don't want to compound that with, you know, singing sad songs and a bunch of just hoopla. And I'm rambling um, because this was not the upload that I wanted to give you guys today. It was supposed to be about Raylan's birthday and how we celebrated that and how we had fun and everything like that, but you know, that's not our life today. I also want to send a huge shout out to Raylan. We had a loose plan about what we wanted to do today and we were gonna to go to Chuck E. Cheese, but the funeral and the repast happened and by the time we were gonna get there, we wouldn't have been able to enjoy it like we wanted to. So she graciously compromised um, for our family and allowed us to take her out tomorrow to Chuck E. Cheese um, so that we could finish it up. Thank you, Raylan for sacrificing 
um, a portion of your birthday so that we could spend it with Sabor. And just my final thoughts on my nephew. I loved you um, from the very first moment I met you. Um, your life was inspiring. I'm really sorry that we didn't get a chance to spend more time together. Um, that's just not how our life uh, panned out. Um, I wish we did have more time together because you were an awesome kid. But I'm glad for the times that we did get with one another and I'm gonna miss being able to see you at family functions. I'm gonna miss hearing your mom complain about how you got on her nerves. <laughs> I'm going to miss you coming over and playing with your cousins. I'm going to miss seeing your, your pictures and your cool haircuts and all the great things that you were accomplishing. But I know that you're in a better place right now and you don't have to suffer anymore. And you did your job. You did your job, Sabor. So that's why God was cool with calling you back home. Your uncle loves you, and I hope you knew that. I'll see you when I get up there. Live, let, love. Peace.